I'm going to share with you the top five reasons why I believe that cookie cutter designs are bad. Hey, this is Rama from Facial Landscape Designs, Earth Friendly Landscapes, and today we're going to be talking about cookie cutter landscapes. But before we do, I make videos about drought tolerant landscapes, California native plants, sustainability around California, anything and everything in between. So if you'd like to get more of that content in your feed, then hit the red subscribe button. I'm also a residential landscape designer, so if you do need landscape design services, I will have a link to my business website in the description of the video down below. So here's the thing. The first reason why cookie cutter designs, in my opinion, are bad is because they are not tailored to your specific needs. They're not tailored to what you need with the landscape. Maybe you want an area to entertain. Maybe you, heaven forbid, have drainage issues. Or maybe you have a really nice view that you'd like to preserve. These cookie cutter designs don't take that into account. It's basically just a simple architectural layout with a landscape layout that can be copied and pasted over and over again. It doesn't really work. It doesn't really meet your specific desires for the landscape. The second reason why cookie cutter designs don't work is they don't take into consideration the site conditions. It doesn't consider the specific needs of your site. Maybe you've got some issues with the landscape that you'd need to design around. How do you know those cookie cutter designs will take those into account? They don't. The third reason why cookie cutter designs don't work is because in some cases, in order to make the designs cookie cutter cheap is the materials that are proposed and used. The plant materials are the same common cookie cutter plants that you see everywhere. Or the hardscape materials are not necessarily quality materials. They might be cheap priced materials, which then translates into cheap quality materials. Why? Because they're easy to get, maybe? Maybe because they're more readily available, but that doesn't really work. Why would you want cheap materials in your landscape, and why would you want plants in your landscape that you see everywhere? That's kind of boring. The fourth reason why cookie cutter materials don't work is because they don't consider the environmental needs. They don't consider the needs of the environment specific to where you live, specific to your climate zone, specific to your house. Maybe your house gets a bit of an extra breeze and you need to take that into consideration when picking your plant palette. Those cookie cutter designs don't take that into account or any other issues that might affect the design. The fifth reason why cookie cutter designs don't work is because they are difficult for contractors to properly bid off of. If you purchase a cookie cutter design and you give it to a landscape contractor and say, here, bid this. Well, this isn't based off of your house. So now that contractor is going to have to take some time, which translates into money, to modify that design to fit your house. And if it takes them an hour, if it, heaven forbid, takes them five hours, guess who pays for that? You do. So all in all, cookie cutter designs just don't work. But if you get a design that is thoroughly customized to your needs, specifically based on your house, specifically based on how you intend to use the space, then there's a 100% chance that it will work flawlessly for you. 